everyone, my name is Cindy and today I am going to show you how to use Goodreads to log your current and past reads. So, if you've never heard of Goodreads before, it's basically this social cataloging website where you can log items you're interested in, find book recommendations, find book groups, and a bunch of other stuff. And it's pretty helpful because it's been around for a while and you can log years worth of reading. So if you're ever wondering, oh man, what did I read a year ago? Well, if you log it in Goodreads, then it'll just stay there. So it's very helpful. So let's show you how to use Goodreads. So first off, you do need to sign up for a Goodreads account. You're going to go to the website, which is goodreads.com and you can sign up with Facebook or with Amazon, Twitter, Google, whatever, or you can just sign up with an email account. It's totally free, but you do need to have an email address and a password, and then you just sign in. When you get there, this is basically what the home page looks like. If you've never used Goodreads before, it might be a bit more sparse uh, because this is based off of past activity that I've had. Uh, over here on the left hand side, you can see what you're currently reading, uh, if you're doing any kind of reading challenge, what you want to read, and once you've added books, what you want to read, are currently reading, and have read. The middle is kind of like a dashboard, similar to how Facebook is, that shows you what your uh, friends and communities are reading, and then typically the stuff on the right hand side is just ads. Uh, you can go on to the My Books tab, and that is where you can see all of the books that you have read. You can also see if you've given them any kind of review or rating, uh, and you can see when it was that you read them. And then there's a ton of other information over here that I recommend you spend some time getting familiar with. Uh, over in Browse, that is where you go to find new items that you want to read. Uh, Goodreads actually does come up with generated, uh, automatically generated recommendations. So if you don't want to come to the library and ask for help with a recommendation, Goodreads can help you out there too. And then finally, you can use the community tab to find little trivia and quizzes or find groups uh, so that if you want to actually talk to people about specific books or genres, uh, that's where you can go. So there is a ton to find on Goodreads, and I just recommend you spend a little bit of time going through it. But I want to show you how to log your reading in today. So let's go back to home. Just click on that. Okay, and if you want to log currently reading, there's several different ways, but really what I recommend is you go back to home and where it says currently reading, that's what you put in what you're currently reading. So I am about to start this book, Bronte's Mistress uh, by Fanola Austin, and I want to put it in my currently reading section. So you just type in the name Bronte's Mistress. If it's pretty well known, it'll automatically generate and then you can click on it and it'll show up right there. <laughs> now another book that I was about to read is called A Queer Summer Night in Cowtown, but when I tried to add it earlier I noticed something strange about it. So I'm going to try to add A Queer Summer Night in Cowtown. Nothing shows up and if I hit enter nothing shows up. So even though this is a real book, I'm holding my hand, it is in our collection, it has somehow not made its way to Goodreads. Uh, so for that, you can always add a new record of the book and you can put in the title, the author, the description, uh, you can even put in the ISBN number that you'll find on the back, a bunch of different things. So even if your book does not exist on Goodreads yet, you can add it and make it exist on Goodreads. Let's go back to home. Now, let's say I finished reading Bronte's Mistress and I wanna hit update 
and then I'm finished. And then this little screen will pop up and it gives you a chance to give it a rating. You can also uh, put it in different bookshelves such as read, currently reading, or to read, or you can be like, this is a Bronte book. Uh, this is historical fiction. You can enter in your review and you can enter in when you were reading it and finished reading and everything. So there's a lot of interesting information you can add and that really just helps you being able to track uh, your reading and what you thought of it. Now, there is one more cool thing that Goodreads does, but it involves an app. So I am going to show you how to scan the cover of a book to automatically add it into your Goodreads app. First off, you need to install the Goodreads app onto your iPad, phone, Kindle, tablet, whatever. And then when you download it, you'll need to add your Goodreads app to it. So that in the future, when you click on it, it'll open up just like that. The immediate opening page is going to be that dashboard that I showed you when we were looking at it on the browser. But what we're trying to do right now is log our books with a simple scan. So at the bottom of the page, we click on my books. And this shows you what you're currently reading, um, as well as allows you to start scanning some things. So you're going to want to click on the plus sign at the top of the page, and this little menu is going to pop open. You can do a lot of different things, but what we want to do is click on scan book covers. So this is a book that I recently read called Everybody Behaves Badly. And you see that the app is scanning it. And then here at the bottom of the page, it has populated. Everybody Behaves Badly, the true story behind Hemingway's masterpiece, The Sun Also Rises. And it gives them the option of saying that I want to read it, but actually I just finished this the other day. So I click down, I click read, done. And that's all there is to it. And so let's go back to my books. Let's go to the plus sign. No, we don't want to go there. Let's see. Let's search everybody behaves badly. And now you can see that it is on my shelf and that I have read it. So if you want to just try to quickly add all the books in your library so that you know what you've read, the scanner on the app is really, really helpful. I do recommend that afterwards you go to the browser and sort of add more information to it, but that's just a personal preference. So now that we have added Everybody Behaves Badly on the scanner on the app, Let's go see and make sure that it is here in the browser. So if I click on my books, and there it is right at the top, everybody behaves badly. And I can now go and add a rating, uh, the date I read, and a bunch of other stuff. But it's there. So yeah, so if you want to just scan all the books in your library, scan all the or scan all the books uh, that you just checked out, it's super easy. Uh, and I definitely recommend that it's something you give a try, especially if you read a lot and you have difficulty tracking everything that you read. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to call us or chat with us in another way, and we'd be happy to help you. So have a great day. Bye bye.